Welcome to Cat TV Honors. In the month of November, we are paying tribute to our local veterans. Tonight, we honor Andrew Hunt. Andrew served in the Vermont Army National Guard from 2000 to 2009. He was deployed to Ramidi, Iraq from 2005 to 2006. And he was stationed at Company C2-172 Armor, Bennington, Vermont. Rick J. Pinsonneau. Rick served in the Army from 1972 to 1974, stationed in Germany. He now owns and operates Pinsonneau Driving School here in Bennington. Raymond Myers. Raymond served in the Army for two years during World War II, reaching the rank of E-2. He was a Purple Heart recipient for his service. Wayne Wyatt Misprenner. Wayne served 13 and a half years in the Afghan War in 1978, the Gulf War 1990 through 91, and the Cold War from 1979 to 1985. Medals include the Army Service Ribbon, National Defense Service Ribbon, Good Conduct Medal, 4th Award, Army Achievement Medal, 3rd Award, Army Commendation Medal, Expert Markmanship Badge, Rifle, M16, Expert Marksmanship Badge Grenade, and Drill Sergeant Identification Badge. Woodcock. Stephen served in Germany and Fort Dix, New Jersey. He served active duty for 10 years and was in the National Guard in Bennington for 15 to 20 years until his death. Edward E. Gardner. Edward served in the Army and the Air Force during World War II and achieved the rank of Corporal during his service. Floyd Horky Woodcock. Horky was a guard at a prisoner of war camp. He served for two years and was stationed in Panama.
Clifford Fair. Clifford enlisted in 1917 to the 103rd Machine Gun Battalion. He was sent to France in 1917 until 1919 and was discharged on March 27, 1919. He was injured and blown out of a barn during a fight, sent for medical help, and returned to his unit to finish his time. He moved to Bennington for work after returning from the war. He lived in Bennington the rest of his life. He was a founding father of the VFW number 332 in Bennington and served as state commander in 1940 to 1941. William Ike Martin. Ike was a truck driver at the time of enlistment. During his service, he earned many medals, including American Service Medal, the Asia Pacific Service Medal, the Bronze Star Medal, the European African Middle Eastern Service Medal, the Good Conduct Medal. When discharged, Ike drove trucks again before going to work at A.J. Dewey & Sons Lumber until it closed. He continued to work at various jobs, including the Mount Anthony Union High School ground maintenance until retirement. Roger George Livingston, Jr. Roger joined after high school in August of 1979. He went to Fort Meade, then to Fort Drum from September 1980 to August of 1983. He signed up with the 86th Brigade in September of 1985 to October of 2012. Roger was deployed for two tours, Iraq Freedom, November 2004 to February 2006, and Afghanistan from November 2009 to January 2011. During his service, he received numerous awards, including the Army Forces Service Medal with 20-year star and many others. Shirley Adams. Shirley served as a medic and later as an accounting technician in the U.S. Army. She enlisted in the Women's Army Corps and transitioned to the U.S. Army when the Women's Army Corps was disestablished and women were fully integrated into the U.S. Army. She served during the period of 1973 to 2002, retiring after 22 years of combined active and reserve service. Donald B. Myers. Donald served in Germany for 18 months and was deployed for one year to Vietnam. He earned the rank of E5.
Clen Frost. Clen is a 2000 graduate of Mount Anthony Union High School and a 2004 graduate of the West Point Military Academy. He served in the Army from 2004 to 2010 in the 101st Airborne Division. He received the Bronze Medal in Iraq and Afghanistan. Clen lives with his family in Pennsylvania. Gerald Caprico. Jerry was in the Army from 1950 to 1952. He served as a staff sergeant in the motor pool and was stationed in Japan and Korea. After leaving the Army, he opened his own auto repair shop in Brooklyn, New York, and worked with this trade in one form or another his entire life. Joe Bump. Joe served 20 years throughout the Cold War, deployed several times to Panama, Grenada, Somalia, Desert Shield, and Desert Storm. Husband and father of five children, 15 grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. He continues to serve the American Legion, Sons of the American Legion, and the American Legion Riders. He also lives in Pownall and works in Bennington. John Bean. John served in the Army in the Vermont National Guard from 1993 to 2018 with the rank of SFC. He was deployed to Ramadi, Iraq from 2005 to 2006 and Ghazni, Afghanistan in 2010. His home units are C Company 2, 172 Armor, Bennington, Vermont, and B Troop 1, 172 Cavalry Mountain, Bennington, Vermont. John Sterling. John served from 1942 to 1945 in the Army. He was deployed to India, China, and Burma during that time. He was a member of the American Legion from 1946 to 1999. Raymond Kirkpatrick. Raymond served in the Army during World War II, being the platoon leader for the Wolverine Unit. He earned the Bronze Medal for his heroic achievement at the Battle of the Bulge. 
During his service, he was deployed to Germany, France, and Italy. Robert Gauthier. Robert joined the Army at the age of 17 in 1952. He served 22 years with the 82 Airborne Division. He was deployed to Vietnam, Thailand, Korea, and France. He received many awards and commendations, including the Bronze Star. He retired as a warrant officer. Scott Beatty. Scott was in the Army from 1980 to 1988. He served in the Vermont National Guard from 2000 to 2012. He was deployed to Iraq from 2005 to 2006. And he was the American Legion Post 13 adjutant in 2019. Thomas Stone. Thomas served in the Army from 1962 to 1965. He is a life member of the American Legion Post 13 and past commander of Post 13. Gary Forrest. Gary joined the Army and was deployed to Vietnam from 1964 to 1967. He earned the rank of sergeant. Dolores Krawczyk. Dolores joined the Army in 1978 and served as an Army medic until 1981. She was stationed at the 98th General Hospital in Nuremberg, Germany. For her service, she was awarded the National Defense and Army Service Medals. She currently serves as Post 13's service officer. She also serves as the Ways and Means Chair for the Unit 13 Auxiliary.
Michelle LeBlanc. Michelle served five years in the Army, being deployed to Cuba for Operation Enduring Freedom. She then joined the Vermont State Police Crime Unit and retired in 2019 after more than 21 years. In 2015, she started Vermont Paws and Boots, a service dog program, a nonprofit assisting disabled veterans and first responders with the use of service dogs, which she currently runs full time. Clan A. Frost. Clan was in the Army from 1968 to 1973. He was at the Naval School of Music and stationed at the 3rd Army Headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. He was deployed to Vietnam in 1968 and was in country for 430 days. He played the trumpet in the Army Band and played with many well-known stars such as Bob Hope. He made his home in Shaftesbury and worked for many years at CVPS. Clan passed on 4 1709 leaving his loving family and many friends. William Buzzick. William served in the Army from 1942 to 1945. He grew up in New York City and called New Jersey home, retiring from public service and the gas industry. Thank you for watching Cat TV Honors, and thank you to all the veterans for their dedicated service.